Hi, and welcome back to some King Koi. If you've not seen the previous episode, please go ahead and watch it. You like the background? It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Anyways, uh, what was I going to say? No, I don't remember. It wasn't important. But anyways, today's going to be a, a shorter episode than typical. I'm sure you looked at the thumbnail of the video and it clearly says that it's shorter than usual. Not literally, but you could see for yourself that it's not long. Well... At least not as long because it's still a lot of time 40 minutes anyway if you're not seen previous episode please go ahead and watch it and let's just get straight into this because i just want to get through as much as i can before it's time to go to bed because it's almost time for bed and i wake up very early welcome back to the channel where you are constantly reminded that you are single and if you're not get out of here you don't belong here <laughs> i just remembered where we left off left off what left off <laughs>変わっていませんか what does arduous mean? It means something that requires a lot of effort. Once again, who said this channel can't be educational? I used to run miles back in high school. Oh wow, I sound old. I used to run miles back in high school, like five miles every freaking night. And I can confirm that it's not a very fun activity. Although I enjoyed the little high you got off of it. And the relaxation afterwards. It was still not very fun. It is. It feels painful. It feels like you're getting tortured. It's not as bad as being waterboarded. But it's still pretty bad. And you feel like you're suffocating. Like you just can't breathe. It's bad. Do you get over it? Yeah, you do. But... It requires a lot of effort and willpower. She's a psychopath is what I'm trying to get at. I suppose I was back in high school too. But then being a psychopath doesn't go away, does it? It was our day off. Mina-chan had work to do and was absent, which meant I could spend the morning lounging around. Ah! My brain had come to a halt. I was so out of whack and unintentional, but came out of my mouth. My mind is shooting straight off into the clouds. I knew exactly why the thing that had taken over my entire mind was. Oh no. Well, she definitely didn't take over mine. I'm stumped. I honestly had no idea what to do. Would it be right to keep treating her like I always had or should I perceive her as a special girl? I was really debating that. Kuryu Akane-chan, huh? Afterward, I looked into her a little in my own way, or rather, I made the effort to get to know her. As a result, I learned a ton I hadn't known about Akane-chan. She'd probably just... She'd previously won a track and field competition and had enrolled at Noble Academy while shouldering the burden of everyone's expectations. Unfortunately, Akane-chan got hurt during the spring tournament shortly after starting school here. She mentioned there was a knee injury, I think. By the sound of it, it hadn't fully healed yet. The knee was a vital body part for playing sports and it must have placed a heavy burden on her mind. It would take time for a knee injury to heal and it would be easy to either relapse or have her condition deteriorate. It must have been rough on her. I'd seen plenty of people give up on sports due to injuries and I could vividly recall their gloomy expressions as they did. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I might have talked about this in the very, very early times of YouTube, but like before I started a YouTube channel, I was like so into soccer. Like I thought I was going to become a whole pro athlete and here I am. But anyways, I would like, this connects to the whole running miles too. I would run that many miles and I would practice soccer every single day. Whenever I had the chance, just play soccer every single day. But anyways, one day. If you guys have played soccer and you guys know what Sunday League is, Sunday League people are typically 
a variety of people from ages like 15 to 30 to 40 some a whole ton of people you know of different ages and i was playing the game and some douchebag that was a lot heavier and taller than i am and keep in mind i'm 179 centimeters or five foot nine the guy was probably i don't know like six foot three or four so like 195 centimeters i want to guess around there i don't know but that fool like i took the ball away from him and dude like didn't even like try to be clean about it bro just straight up tried to send me to hell like he he gave me like a real bad tackle and i landed on my hip and i lost some of my air but after that my hip has not been the same i mean it is now because i got massaged i got beat up a little but after that i just stopped playing soccer and that's actually around the time when i was like i'm gonna start a youtube channel lesson learned don't play with uh people that are older than you and that can't take the l anyways I had some plenty of people give up on the sport due to injuries and I could vividly recall their gloomy expressions as they did. I do be yapping sometimes, I apologize. They wanted to keep playing but couldn't. It wasn't due to environment or circumstance, but for absolutely unavoidable reasons. It was different for me, but they had to find their own path. It sure was different for you, wasn't it? You crybaby butt. Hmm. Who could it be so early in the morning? It's Sylvie. Unusual of her to call. May as well answer for now. Hello? Hmm? With what? Yeah? Oh yeah, we had talked about that. It completely slipped my mind after Akane-chan's confession. Not much you can do about it if it's work, is there? What was with this princess? Striking as she was? Ah uh, yes, back to the, the default behavior, right Ella? It's hard to forget her when like her change or the way we see her was just so significantly different because we just knew her as the bodyguard, similar to Mako from Sandra Banka. Where they just appear to be the servant or whatever, the whatever, the masters, whatever, right? And then come to find out that they're just not that. They have like a whole lot of stuff to offer. And you're just like, wow, I'm not the same person I was after all of that. Like, that's crazy. She's funny. Or they're like, nah, I don't care. Hmm, got it. Take care, okay? I give a lot of credit to Reyna, but Sylvia definitely deserves a lot of credit too. <laughs> the call ended. Looks like my day just opened up. Then again, I was in the mood to go out for no reason either. Even if I sat here spacing out, I would just end up thinking about nothing but Akane-chan. Oh god. It had been difficult to talk to her ever since the day she confessed. I knew she wanted me to learn more about her all the time. But I guess we really had become self-conscious around each other. I got tongue-tied whenever I tried to come up with something to chat about, and looking her straight in the eye was kind of embarrassing. Uh, I need to pull myself together. Akuna-chan had put her heart on her sleeve. It was my turn to show her how I felt back. But I still hadn't figured out how I felt. Hmm? Who could it be this time? Coming. Oh no, we're just thinking about you. Go away. Uh, uh, yeah, morning. Who should appear but the lady of the hour? Yeah. Startling for sure. Huh? Wow, she was raring to go. Um, my plans just got cancelled a second ago, actually. Nah, it just plans to hang out. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. She grew another pair of balls. A pair of a pair of balls <laughs> since the last episode. Look at her being direct. Not even Oda was able to do that. A, a date? Look at her. I respect the grind, Akane. And your answer is a date? Whoa, 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 whoa. Go all the way? I don't know about that. What? Go all the way? Did she mean that in an intimate way between a man and a woman? That's what I thought too. That's what you meant? Just a little bit. Sorry, I don't mean it like that. Agna-chan was an innocent girl, or so she appeared to be. That is right, Akane. That is right! You go get that dick- Alright, I'll chill out. Sorry, guys. Agna-chan really was incredible. Her ability to face adversity without losing her nerve was impressive. Absolutely. Like I said, she grew another pair of balls. Pell. Pair of balls! In the last- since the last episode. I cannot speak today either. Huh? Yeah, just something like. I couldn't hold that thought. I'm about to lower the volume of the game. Because some of the music... The volume of the music... Some of the volume of this music is just crazy loud for no reason. And I could hardly hear the voice actresses. All right, guys. As long as it's nothing heavy. Guys, if you think it's really low or too high still, please let me know. I would appreciate some feedback, you know, because I've adjusted it to my need but i don't know how it sounds on your end so let me know is it okay for me to go there won't the place be packed with nothing but girls that would obviously be uncomfortable why jeez she was right Hmm? Uh, oh, are there? Pairs of men and women went there to eat pancakes. I bet any onlookers would be convinced we were dating if they saw us. I noticed something a while ago. Sure, why don't we go eat some pancakes? I was apparently a sucker for Akana Chan whenever she looked up at me like that. How? Say, why, what, how? Half an hour later, Akana Chan showed up right on the dot of when we agreed to meet. Yeah, shall we? She courteously bowed her head to me. Hmm, this felt a little formal to me. Don't call us that. Was that seriously spreading around? <laughs> What's a pine cone, dude? I know what a pine cone is, but what does she mean by that? I don't get it. <laughs> she seriously went along with it? She seriously did. Uh, hey. Her overt honesty could spell trouble for us. 
Hey, Reyna, come here a sec. I dragged Reyna a short distance away from Akane-chan. Yeah, of course you'd say something like that. Never mind that, listen. Try not to spread this around just for laughs. Are you sure? Huh? You got this huge smile on your face though. You were totally cackling like you were going to spread the news all over Luain. <laughs> ah, looks like I put myself in the doghouse for no good reason. Oh wow, she's actually upset about that. That's crazy. Alright, good, good, good. Just had to make sure we were clear. That's right. Akane is the Rizzler here. Yup. You're pretty incredible. <laughs> Who knew she was this insightful? I may have underestimated her ability to read the air. Wise words from an unwise woman. Got it. Uh, I fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. She was totally screwing with me. This time I was the one left behind. They kept peeking over at me for some reason too. Reyna's still grinning. Akane-chan's face was beat red. I bet she was pulling some strange ideas in her head. Reyna had seen tons of my embarrassing moments to date too. Like my porn, that old game, and cuts. I'd die if she told anyone about the Tenga. She'd better not be telling Akane-chan to dye her hair black because it would turn me on or anything. Oh god, her with black hair would be... Interesting. I got so used to this color of hair. I'm not even sure what color this is. Reyna, what did you tell her? God, I'm so curious. What? Sure, do that. <laughs> Listen, Akuna-chan. <laughs> You're not forcing yourself, are you? Akuna-chan made a major push forward, likely thinking, this is what you're supposed to do on a date. I was holding my hand. You're so nervous, you're practically frozen solid. <laughs> she was stammering and coming up with hard to understand words on top of it. Well, if you say so. I was pretty nervous at the start myself too. Seeing her frozen stiff from nerves actually helped me calm down. Ah yes, boobs. I do? <laughs> Am I that lame? Don't say that. Lame? Why? Whoops, I let it show on my face. That she's lame? <laughs> that you <laughs> that the idea you're lame hasn't crossed my mind once. I couldn't help but smile and it's because of you that I don't feel nearly as nervous as I thought I would. Seeing someone freak out morning you surprisingly calming. No, I think you're incredible. You can do something I never could. Facts. Yep. 
which is grow two pairs of balls. Right, for example, like how you asked me out on this date today. Dog. <laughs> I was pushed into it. She nestled in close. This was more embarrassing if you asked me. Hmm? Why? It's nothing like that. I wouldn't go on a date with a girl I didn't care about whatsoever. I had taken the smallest step closer to Akane-chan. Though I hadn't been direct, I assumed she understood what I was getting at. Let's take it easy, just like we usually do. That must have made her happy as she smuggled, snuggled up to me once again. Ah. This time it was my turn to be nervous. The softness and warmth I've never experienced before made my heart race. Ah yes. The Ochata can it. I told ya, it was very obvious. Really? Really? I wonder how she felt in that case. I wonder how she felt when she saw Odo like dating the other ladies, you know, like Sylvie and Reina. Like, obviously, like she was practically invisible in those roots. They hardly brought her in. But it would have been interesting if they threw in her react of him getting with someone else, you know, because clearly she's liked him for a long time, you know. But then that would have for sure confirmed that she was super into him. But I mean, again, it's kind of obvious. At least to me. At least that's what I think. I could be wrong. Maybe she's just being nice. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I've now gaslighted myself that it's not true what I'm saying. I don't know. I felt immensely loved. A girl this wonderful had confessed her feelings to me. Now I got it. That's why she had gotten so close. She squeezed my hand tightly. Ah, whoa. Oh! She looked up at me anxiously again. Maybe she knew I was weak to this gaze of hers? I am happy. Doesn't sound very happy, dude. I wouldn't lie. <laughs> As a man, it made me happy to have a cute girl snuggle up to me. But wouldn't onlookers just think I was some sort of perv? I'd feel that way if I saw this too. To me, it looks like they're like like this instead of like side by side holding hands. And I'm not sure which it is because they are holding hands, but it kind of looks like they're all over each other and it looks really weird. Dang it, she was so cute. I loved seeing how happy Akane-chan was. It was a strange sense of elation, a mixture of nervousness and joy. Alright lady, you can't be comparing yourself, that's crazy. You know, Akuna-chan, it's not good to talk about yourself that way. 
We got plenty of attractive qualities. Shouldn't you treasure those attributes? Oh wow, the self-esteem is not there. Didn't look like it was hitting home for her at all. Like how spirited you are and how you never put up walls between yourself and others. I think they do. That's your appeal. Something not just anyone can do. I genuinely believe that's what's amazing about you. She was getting shy all over again and the earlier tension came rushing over us. Anyway, why don't we take a walk and settle our nerves a little? Yo, pancake sounds gas, but not at 8 p.m. Actually, no. Doesn't matter what time, they're pancakes. Hmm. Let's just wander around and try wherever catches our eye. That should make it clearer as to what mutually interested us. I secretly looked up ways to have fun on dates earlier and that was what was written online. Nah, we can start with you. No, no, we'll start with... Huh? After a bunch of bickering back and forth, we went the commoner route and ended up window shopping. Hmm? What? We gotta steal it. An older lady was out with her considerably large dog, and the guy beside her was probably her boyfriend. Agna-chan, you like dogs? Wow, is it? Yeah, that was yet another adorable dream she had. Why not go and pet it? I think it'd be fine as long as you ask. We walked over to the dog walking couple. Um, sorry to bother you like this. Would you mind if we pet your dog? Go ahead, Akane-chan. I would have been like, that's a cute doggy. Can I pet it, please? As soon as Akane-chan gave her a gentle pet, the massive dog squinted her eyes happily. I want a seated doggy. I can try and gently yet affectionately pet that canine. I could feel my expression softening as I watched. <laughs> yeah, she's wagging her tail like crazy. Wholesome Akane moment. I can't lie right now. Chocolate without the E sat down and staring fixedly at Akane-chan, almost like she was demanding for more attention. <laughs> huh? Uh, um... Yes! Uh, we're not there yet. The older lady looked positively shocked. Snatched up. That's crazy. That could mean men. <laughs> yes. No, not at all. Akane-chan was cute. I felt the same. Why was I hesitating to respond to her feelings then?
The dog stood straight up and followed after her master. Seriously clever. <clears throat> Maybe I'll turn out to be a dog person myself. All of the tension from earlier vanished without a trace and their hands even naturally joined together. Oh look, that's nice. Burp. Was that a burp? I got carried away over eight. The sweets had left my mouth and stomach a total mess. I couldn't really tell how that last one tasted, to be honest. They often said that hunger was the best spice. Also, men apparently didn't have a second stomach for sweets. Akuna chan, I'm impressed you don't gain weight after eating so much. For real, dude, what the heck is wrong with you? Rude AF. No, I think anyone would be curious. We ate it with fresh cream, fruit, ice cream, then moved on to a chocolatey sweet combination. Finally, we had a double whammy of butter and maple syrup. Double whammy? What does that even mean? And butter and maple syrup? Oh my gosh. Sounds like a lot. <laughs> Don't you worry about it since you're an athlete? Ah yes, cavities are terrible. Not that I have any. Seriously? I guess that made sense. She must have had a ridiculously high metabolism. Bro, if my date asked the exercise after pigging out, I'm walking away. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. Maybe if it was 5 a.m. and I have an 8, sure. But after pigging out, that's actually crazy. Amusement facility? Oh, those are really popular, aren't they? I see. That was so like Hakuna-chan. I don't mind going, but I like to start off with something light to help me digest all that first. I was going to have an awful stomach ache if I jumped straight into hardcore exercises. You do that. Oh, I love bowling. Sure, bring it on. Our game of choice was bowling. I ought to get away with only a minor burden on my body and stomach this way. The boss she so spiritedly threw curved to the right and tumbled into the gutter. Still have another throw. She's so wholesome. Her second throw plops straight into the left hand gutter. Gutter? Gutter? I couldn't chance seemed bad at meeting in the middle. Zero on the first frame? That sucks. <laughs> I'll set an example for you. I hadn't played a ton, but rolling the ball straight and knocking down pins was no sweat. Are you sure? He said, oh yeah. Huh? Gata? Is that how you say it? I was sure I threw it straight too. Dang it, I'll knock him down this time for sure. This time, carefully, straight. Bro said T? Gah! <laughs> You either have a huge co- or you're good at bowling. Not both. Well, it's, there's some mysterious gravitational force at work. The ball, which should have rolled straight, suddenly jerked into a curve. Yikes. Bowling was surprisingly deep. Yeah, it's no joke. Emphasis on the low level. 
First, we gotta start by earning a single point. I can't turn. Roll it straight. You ain't about to give tips after you rolled it not straight two times in a row. <laughs> we were currently on the ninth frame and had reached the turning point in our match. How did it turn out this way? I had a score of 43. Not only that I not only had I not scored a strike, I hadn't even managed to spare. As for Akane chan she had 157. That's a violation. She'd gradually gotten the hang of it after the first gutter ball and started racking up an excellent score. What am I doing wrong? I was certain I'd calculated and adjusted my spin with the ball's orientation too. Alright, this time I'll land the strike for sure. Maybe I was giving it too much thought. Time to clear my mind and aim for the center. Go! God, why? Dang, I can't get a good mental image when I throw the ball underhanded. I wasn't showing I can turn my good side at all. Just once, I wanted to knock down all those dang pins. Just you watch, I'll knock them all down this time. He said, Hiya. Straight to the gutter. Yes, I got the perfect path. Now I just had to keep going straight. Too much spin. Oh, there's my timer. Bowling was way too complicated. Filled with enthusiasm, she got in the bowling position. Maybe it was my imagination, but her form was looking pretty fantastic at this point. For real? I'm gonna try out a real knack for this, didn't she? I does one strike every single hit. A girl who hardly even knew the rules was doing foolishly well. Yeah, good luck. It mattered more to me that she was having fun and it made her initial nervousness almost seem unreal. Are you aiming to be a pro bowler? Newfound power. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll end it there. I gotta go to bed. This was a fun episode. This was a really fun episode. I thought it was nice. And there was definitely several wholesome Akane moments. So I appreciate that. And again, I'll say it again. Because I, I flame her all the time. I flame her, but I don't actually hate her. In fact, I'm actually enjoying her route so far. Anything else aside from that? No. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna let y'all go. Again, I need to go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you made it this far and you have not subscribed, please fix that. And also hit that like for me while you're at it. And if you want to see more visual novels, visual novels like these or something else, please let me know in the comment section below or on my social medias, which are in the video description. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Until next time, guys.